Rocket the Yahweh, Rocket the Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath, the Dawadah, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, and double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. All right, so just, you know, another um, economic news update, okay? Uh, World War III update, all right? Uh, going into the prophecies of uh, this uh, up and coming uh, destruction of uh, the age of Esau, man. Okay, because you know what's going on over there in the Middle East with Iran and uh, America. All right, the, the heightened tensions that's going on. So you got this article that says um, from Russia Today, $300 oil, U.S. war with Iran spells ca catastrophe for global economy, expert tells RT. You know, and that's exactly what's going to happen, man. All right, this, this up and coming uh, world war, all right, third world war is going to be a global catastrophe because it's going to bring down the system okay the empire that is uh being ran right now by esau edom is going to bring it's going to it's going to destroy this beast system man okay and no other nation that's on the earth all right you know another heathen nation i should say that's on the earth is going to arise and, and be the next uh rulers all right because during this uh world war three the son of man yahweh shai is going to come and destroy all these other uh, uh, heathen armies, man. And he's going to wear many crowns on his head, meaning, meaning he's going to take the rulership from all these other uh, uh, nations. Okay, but going into this article, man, just shows you, you know what, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kak with Dash, what you know uh, the prophet's been saying, you know, all along, man, that this uh, this this uh, imminent uh, war to come. Is going to have a global uh, uh, impact, man. It's going to have global devastation. All right, apocalypse, you know, apocalyptic results, you know, so so to speak, man. All right, which is all prophesied in the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay, so it says an armed conflict between the U.S. and Iran, which seen oil prices soaring and global stock global stocks crashing, which will certainly not play into the hands of Washington, according to political and, ec and uh, uh, economic analyst Sabir Razvi. All right. Yeah. And why wouldn't it play into the hands of Washington or, or, you know, America? Because America is a golden cup, man. All right. America is the whore that is sitting upon this, uh, the, this upon a beast. All right. Uh, NATO and the EU, which is the is the uh, the system that is, you know, you know, basically running this world right now. All right. And America is the spearhead of that system. All right. So this is really America's system. But all right, which is really, you know, uh, being ran by these uh, uh, hidden, the hidden hand, these uh, so-called elites. All right. The, the the elite banking family. OK. But it says right here that if they go to war, it's going to have a global, a global, uh, um, a global uh, uh, impact, man. All right. So it says he told RT that the U United States understands that surging oil prices will have a dramatic impact on the global economy. Yeah, because everything's all interconnected, man. This whole the whole the whole system, the whole world's economy is all connected. All right. So if there's a crashing in, a, in America, there's going to be a crashing in Europe. There's going to be a crashing in Japan. There's going to be a crashing in China. There's going to be a crashing in the Middle East everywhere, man. All right. Hey, and these, and this is why this, uh, this, these devils want to bring forth the, uh, the new world, the new world order, by way of the mark of the beast, all right, by way of their RFID chip, because they know, all right, their plan is to have this, uh, this economy, this current world system economies uh, to crash, to come crashing down, and they want to bring in uh, a, a, a more, uh, <laughs> a more, a uh, demonic or a more, you know, uh. uh interconnected system which is really them being gods over the over the earth man over everybody on the earth that if whoever takes this chip whoever takes the mark of the beast okay so we know that this uh this current economy is going to collapse man one way or the other all right now how the lord is going to exactly have it it has yet to be seen but we're right at the cusp of, uh, cusp of the of that man 
and let's say something happens to where uh, uh, a, a, a conflict does occur with Iran and the United States and it doesn't, you know, blow up to be a full blown war, but it could be something, you know, a missile gets shot off or something happens. OK, and that, and that starts off, you know, a little uh, uh, skirmishes that could very well bring forth, you know, the, the economy collapsing also, man. OK, so it says oil prices climb to a three week high on escalating US, U.S. Iran tensions after the Iranian military shot down a U.S. drone over the Strait of Hormoz. Tehran said that the drone had violated Iran's airspace while Washington claimed it was an international airspace. A full-blown war with Iran shutting down a full-blown war with Iran shutting down the Strait of Hormoz could be catastrophic, uh, Razvi said. From a purely economic angle, it will have huge impact. It will have a huge impact, he explained, citing analysts dating that between 25 and 40 percent of global oil passes through the 29 kilometer long Strait of Hormoz between o uh, Oman and Iran. According to the analyst, this very important choke point would have a huge impact on global economy. So that so that uh, little gulf over there alone, if, if Iran decided to shut that down, would basically bring a collapse worldwide, man, because what it, what do they call uh, oil? They call oil, uh, 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 you know, uh, liquid money, man. All right. That's why the, uh, the the terminology petrodollar, which is the the United the the United States uh, Federal Reserve note, is the current uh, world currency to do trading for oil in, which you have a lot of a lot of countries, a lot of big companies like Iran, like America. I mean, it's a lot like uh, Russia. Okay, like China. All right. I believe even Pakistan or India. Okay, you got the, the BRICS nation. A lot of these nations are, are going away from trading in the U.S. dollar, all right, and, and trading in their own currency or trading in gold. You have a lot of these countries buying gold, all right, because gold is the real money, all right, and that's how you, that's why we know that that American dollar bill, all right, it, it, it has no value because it's not backed by anything, all right. It used to be backed by gold, you know, but back in nineteen uh, in the nineteen forties, they took the gold standard away. So the American dollar isn't worth anything right now, which if this happens, you're going to have what? You're going to have these countries that's going to completely abandon the dollar altogether. And that's going to bring hyperinflation over here in America. All right. So not just not just the oil going up. OK, not just oil going up, which you need oil for gas. But you're going to have actual food prices going up, too, because a lot of because the dollar is, is, is going to is going to be worthless. You know, and this is a lot of things that people are not paying attention to. A lot of things that, you know, these Babylonians don't see, man. All right. They don't see all these things. How all these things are coming together. All right. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, we're blessed because we see how all this is, is, is approaching, man. All right. That's why the Lord said, watch and pray always that that day does not come upon you. You know, take you unawares, man, as it's going to come upon this whole world. See, this whole world is going to go into an hour of temptation. All right. And this right here, a global economy uh, sh uh, crashing or shutdown is going to affect what? The globe is going to affect everybody. And you got and people do not see do not have the mind to uh, uh, to 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 um, be able to withstand these things, man. OK, but as the scripture tells us, Isaiah 33, verse six, wisdom and knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. All right. So we're going to be stable while this whole world is going to be. You know, uh, 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 upheaving, man. All right. It says, reading on, it says, um, we really haven't come out of the 2008 financial crisis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 11 years later, people are still uh, uh, messed up over that financial uh, quote unquote recession that happened in 2008. It says, but as soon as the oil crisis shoots up, it will have a significant impact. Some economists are saying that if there is a full-blown crisis in the Gulf region, prices could go to 150 to three to even $300 per barrel, all right? So what do you think that's going to look like when you go to these uh, gas stations, man, all right? You're going to be seeing $30, $40, $50, $50 dollars per gallon, man, all right? You're going to be seeing, uh, 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 you know, your, your PSC&G bill skyrocket, okay? And that's why the Lord said, pray, pray not your flight be in the wintertime. You see, a lot of people, once again, 
they're not they're not paying attention, man. They're not seeking the Lord while he may be found, calling upon him while he is near. So he's going to come and and, and and what? When they should say peace and safety, which what? You got the summertime coming. So a lot of people, especially here in, in, in America, Babylon, a lot of people are not lackadaisical. You know, uh, uh, life is a, a, a peach. All right. Life is a beach chair mentality right now, man. So, you know, we pray that the Lord have, have, have these things happen, you know, <laughs> right now, man. It says, Razvi continued. Now, if this happens, one can imagine what, what the impact is likely to be on the global market. The stock markets, uh, select, the stock markets will come crashing down. All kinds of other challenges will be faced by the global economy. All right. So all kind of other global uh, challenges will be faced, man. All kind of other challenges will be faced by the global economy. So people, you know, this ain't just, you know, here going to happen here in America, which is going to be, you know, uh, uh, the worst in America. But this whole world, man, because this whole world is being ran by the wicked. So the Lord is going to bring the wrath upon this whole world. OK, that's why he says when when uh, measure the times diligently, diligently in itself. All right. And when I shall see uh, part of the signs pass, know that is the very same time that the Lord shall visit the earth. The Most High shall visit the earth which He made, man. Okay, so the, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai through His Son Yahweh Shai, okay, is sending judgment upon this whole entire world, man, because Yahweh Shai is coming to take over the whole world, all right, and He's going to make His name and His power known throughout the whole earth, okay, which is why this prop, which is why this uh. This word, this gospel, all right, this prophecies has gone throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right. The scripture says that their their voice is, 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 is heard throughout the world. Why? Because the Lord is coming to bring judgment upon the world. So it says, um, and certainly, and certainly Europe is in no position to sustain that kind of increase or hike in the oil price. <laughs> So Europe is not in, in no position to deal with this. America, for damn sure, is not in any position to deal with this. These other nations aren't either. Says so overall, I think I I so like overall, I think just a purely economic and financial situation will be catastrophic for Japan, India, Europe, and many other countries if this situation is taken to a full blown conclusion as the Hawks in Washington want it to be. He said, "All right." And really, it's the Lord, you know, working on the minds of these uh, rulers, man. Because this is what the Lord has 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 designed and 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 uh, predestined for it for it, for it, for it to happen, man. Okay, so this is a quick scripture, Zephaniah one verse um, one verse uh, fifteen. It says, "That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of wasteness, a day of desolation, a day of darkness, a day of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness." All right. This is the day. All right. Of the Lord's of wrath upon this earth, man, which is only only going to get intense, more intense and more uh, uh, hellish, you know, uh, as we go on. It says, verse 16, a day of the trumpet and a alarm against the fenced cities against, uh, against the high towers. OK, the fenced cities talking about the cities, you know, especially here in America, Babylon, the great this this uh, wicked city. All right, the, the, the places where people feel safe at, okay? You know, the, the quote-unquote first first world countries, man. All right, it's going to be a day of, of, of a trumpet and alarm against these places, man. All right, and when a trumpet uh, uh, alarm sounds, what's that? That means an impending impending uh, uh, catastrophe or, or, or impending uh, calamities is coming, man. Right? It says that I will bring distress upon men. That they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as as the dung. So as blind men, meaning what? People are not going to have any any uh, a sense of direction. They're not going to know what to do because when the economy collapses, you know, prices skyrocket. People are going to have no clue what to do. That's why, once again, wisdom and knowledge and understanding is going to be the stability of our times, man. We are going to know perfectly all right, what's going on? And we're going to know perfectly who to uh, who to trust, who to who to uh, put our faith in. All right, people are going to put their faith in, in Egypt. They're going to go down to these concentration camps. They're going to believe on a horse and chariots of uh, Egypt. All right, they're going to trust in the shadow of Egypt, and that's going to be to their destruction. But we're going to trust in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and that's going to be to our salvation. 
but these people are going to be walking around like blind men because these people do not expect this to happen, all right? These CEOs, these VPs, these presidents, all right, these ev everyday regular Joe Schmoes, all right, everyday regular two-third Israelites that, that, that puts folly in great dignity, they don't expect none of this to happen, man. So, all right, they expect America, the status quo to continue, all right, uh, uh, day after day forever, man. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has something coming for that, man. And they're going to be like blind men in that day because they blind right now. They don't see it. All right. It says, uh, verse 18, it says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yep. All right. And what is the modern day silver and gold? Your money. Okay. And it's not going to be able to deliver you from the Lord's wrath, man, because you can't pay off the Lord's judgment. And ultimately, really, your money ain't going to be worth nothing. All right. Your money is not going to be a commodity in this day, man. When the economy comes crashing down, when the stock market comes crashing down. All right. When a dollar economic system, the global economic system come crashing down, your money is not going to be able to save you. All right. It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy for he shall make an even a speedy riddance <clears throat> of all them that dwell in the land. All right. So, hey, man, call lawyer. How about Shimia was shy? Pray that these things come to pass quickly. Pray that the elect be sealed. All right, so we get the hell up out of here. The Lord brings his wrath upon this earth, all right? And he brings his son back, Yahweh Shai, to bring, uh, uh, to establish righteousness on his place, man. All right, on his land, okay? And, and raise up the uh, true rulers of this of the earth, man, which are the Israelites, starting with the 144,000, okay? We're well, starting with Yahweh Shai, really, King David, and then the 144,000. The house of David shall be established as in the days of old, man. All right, so call Yahweh Shai, Shalom.